Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Trowers. Michelle Kane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got a great show uh, coming up for you today, and we're not going to waste much time. We're going to get right to it. So, uh, lady and gentlemen, you ready to get to it? Yep. Yep. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. And we give it back to you. The people. All right, topic for the day. Here we go. Let me ask you guys this. Would you let someone exploit you for money? All right, think about it for a quick second. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Would you let somebody or anybody exploit you for money? So in this first example, say you're at work and the CEO or somebody from the board comes to you and they say, hey, Michelle K. Hey, um, C, comedian CJ Travers. We need somebody. Um, we got some heat coming down on us because we don't have minority leadership in these positions. So, uh, we want to put you in this position because you happen to be a minority. Not because of your, your, your acumen in the job, not because of your training, not because you might be the best person for the job, but you're high up enough that we notice you and you happen to be of a minority position. <clears throat> so now we want to put you in that position. We want to pay you. It's an you increase know, in pay? Yeah, it's an increase in pay. But okay. here's the thing. In this higher position, the counterparts say they make $250,000 a year. Right? And you're you're in a position and you're making 60000 a year in your regular position. They want to promote you to be on the same level as those $250,000 a year counterparts, but because you're not qualified and they're doing it just because of your minority, they only wanna pay you 160, 170. So you're making significantly less, but they're gonna, right, it's much more than you were making, and now they're gonna parade you around to everybody, FCC, FAA, hey, look, we, 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 uh, we're we're uh, a diverse company. Look, right. we have minority leadership on the highest level. Like you're going to be on the commercials. Oh, you're going to be oh, like you're going to be on the posters, good. sitting there holding your suit jacket and shit. Oh. Yeah, you're going to be the token. So a hundred a hundred ten thousand dollar increase is crazy. That's a hell of right. That's right. a hell but, of an increase. Way, that, that, way more than five percent. Right. right. But now you're not making as much as the same people in the same position. Well, I don't have to have the same responsibilities as some other niggas. No, yeah. you. I mean, you, you said on the same level. Yeah, you're not I'm on the same the level pay. as their title. Right, but I don't have your the same, same level as title. Okay, just they're, they're even. Head. Well, the position that they're giving you is the same position. Right. But so I don't have the same actual responsibilities because I'm not of that qualifications. What I'm trying to get. Well, you would have the same, the same uh, responsibilities. Like, say it's a executive director position mm -hmm. and say the other people are in charge of an entire um what's it called an entire department department mm -hmm. so they put you in charge of a department right so you're not really doing anything you know you're not out there banging hammers or right. putting stuff together but yeah. you are in charge of that department but on top of doing that you're now the face of minorities of the company so now when they need you to say, hey, 
We need you to come to this press conference and sit in the front. And when they try to talk about how we don't have minority leadership, we need you to stand up and say, yes, we do, because I'm this. We need I'm you to need, we need, need you to step token. up and be that token. I'm need a fucking press uh, um, bonus. Yeah. Press bonus. Well, yeah. I mean, like you said, Appearance. your press bonus is hundred and ten thousand no, dollars more yeah, than what you were making the day that's, before. That's, that's for me to be in position like Voltron right. and stand there like this. <laughs> and you but want now, me to continue to be right. in place and show up like Super Nick, bro? It, right. That's, that's exactly it. That's it. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna need a I'm a little puppet, and you like. Uh huh. Top. Hey, you need to come yep. over here and do this little. Yep, I'm gonna get twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Right, appearance. and then they start asking me questions. questions. And I'm sitting there like, you sure they want to talk to me? <laughs> right. Exactly. The way I exactly. feel about it, I'm gonna be honest. So, uh -huh. Yeah, they ain't gonna like it. I'm gonna talk some more. All the job summits, all the conferences, <laughs> you want, all that. They gonna me out. Black Enterprise. I'm not gonna be able to do that. No. Because no, because that would be my integrity. Only because the money is good. The money but sensation. Ask me any questions because then I know why I'm doing it and it's not right. It's only to show face, you know, to get them credit for whatever they're trying to build. But right. No, it wouldn't sit right with my spirit. So I would, mm. my conscience would kick in a little bit. So I don't know. I, you couldn't Thank ask you me what? questions because I would be thinking about why they got me in this position. Okay. And that's what I would be wanting to talk about, you know. Yeah, I ain't worried about this. Some people do that shit without sitting there with me. They're doing that shit without you even knowing anyway. Now, right, I, right. So I, I, I know that. And that was my next question. So they what if they up. what if they, they covered up. it up and they didn't tell you that that's why they were doing it? They just said, Michelle K, you've done an exceptional job and you're a shoe in for this new director position. And you'd be like, well, damn, I didn't even know I was even in the running. I didn't apply or nothing. And they'd be like, we can see you as upper management. And then all of a sudden you get promoted. So you don't know what the plan is. You just in there. Well, I've been in many times a bunch of fake white faces looking like. Mm -hmm. right. you know, uh-huh, a raisin in a glass of milk. Like, yeah, but if I'm done like that, then I, I have no trust because I don't know. Right. But once I do know, you gonna tell them give me yeah, take the money I mean, back? Well, take the money back. I want to no, go back to my. No, no. If I go life. back in there, no, because I'm telling you, it's gonna mess with my conscience. My conscience oh, will man. bother me, and oh, I know man. I'm doing wrong. I can't it's explain it. Conscience. I promise you, my people hate my conscience. Sometimes I get, oh. I don't like it either. But I hate it for you. It should look good on you. I'm gonna say, let me get her hundred ten thousand. <laughs> You can have two tokens. Really I could. One I could. token, not tokens. I've done a lot of dirt, but I have to tell you, ask my friends. When that conscience kick in, I'm like, man, we got to go back and make this right. It's just something about it. But other than that, no, I couldn't do that. Well, what if you're suspicious of it, but they deny it? Like, in other words, like I said, they, they don't tell you and they tell you you're a shoo-in. You get in a position, you get the corner office, and they're being super nice, and you're like, Wow, I didn't even know. Like yesterday, I was sweeping the damn floor. I had no idea. And now I'm in this office. Oh, that's, that's and then, a and then <laughs> day right. two, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then day two, they're like, hey, you know, are you getting comfortable? Is everything great? Are you liking your secretary? You know, is she doing everything for you? Everything great? Okay, okay, great. Um, Okay, so here's what we need you to do tomorrow. Okay, we have our executive board meeting tomorrow, so we need you to be there at nine o'clock, okay? If you have problems with traffic, you now have rights to use the executive helicopter oh. to bring you in, okay? Because you're now on this level. Oh. Right, right. You get all the perks. Oh, you know, Fortune to, Fortune, Fortune 100 company. We're talking they top. You like Kobe? Right, oh, right. Oh, all right. Now, now, here's what we need you to do. At 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. we have a press conference. And when we had that press conference, um, we need you front and center. Okay, we have a special seat for you front and center. Okay, okay? you don't have to do much. You just got to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you say you ask, well, what, what's my purpose? Why do I got to be there? And they say, well, we just need you there. Okay, um, don't worry. There's training coming down the line and we're going to train you up for this job. But for tomorrow, we just need you just there. Okay, everything great. Um, no. is your is your is your Keurig machine working? Yeah. Or do you got the fresh spring water? Is everything good? Is everything great? Did you get your key for the executive elevator? They can or do you you got that, everything? But I would start asking more questions because it wouldn't make sense. It would just right. be like 
I'm the only person there. Like, oh yeah. Come on. Oh now. yeah. You are raising in a glass of milk at this point. Right. Like you're the only one on the on the on the floor. Besides the secretary, which they give you a chocolate going? secretary too. Is this still right, you're right, right. Oh. Nobody has said anything blatantly to why they're doing it. They're just they're 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 they're, they're massaging you in, right? But then little things pop out like this. So at ten o'clock, we just need you at the meeting. Don't worry about you know anything on it. But we just need you there. And you're like, wait a minute, why would you need me there? I don't know anything that y'all do. So there's suspicious stuff happening, just not sure. but you're not sure. You said I don't know nothing that you do. You work at the company, know shit they don't just do. Well, you've never even been on that floor. Like your elevator pass, your 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 badge didn't even go that high. Like like when you run your badge, like a whole bunch of levels just lit up that never lit up for you. And that was just for that day because after that day, you get to use the executive elevator. Like I get you, my own pocket and everything. Of course. Like your executive elevator lets you out right in front of your car downstairs on the oh, executive shit. level parking. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down to the old cafeteria I used to eat at with the regular niggas and eat. Like, oh, y'all niggas out here we're eating tuna fish? I am upset. Lots of tails. Lots of tails. Somebody smoking over my elevator, nigga? Oh, no. That is. That is no. rich. No. <laughs> you don't know. See you at right the corner. <laughs> yeah, you go sit out in your press conference in the front row. That's right. Smiley, right? Right. Yeah, cigar. I'm him. Yeah. I'm here. I'm him. <laughs> and that's right, boss. What, what, what you need, boss? <laughs> that's my guy. Yeah. You got to give him the double feet. Right. That's my guy. And he's sitting there just shining and up and everything. Hell like, yeah. You want to make sure they had a camera right on your face and yep. everything. Uh-huh. A cigar and a bow tie. Yeah. I so, so Michelle K got integrity. She's not going to let it go down. If, if I don't know... Then that's one thing, but if I know, I don't know. I got integrity too. I know these goddamn bills got characters. <laughs> these motherfuckers are on my head. You know what I'm saying? Character integrity means word. It's hard. getting real. So, and then some niggas is a lot easier to pay with 110 extra fucking thousand dollars. 110 extra. That's extra. I and you and all appearance bonuses. And you know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> it's a motherfucking appearance bonuses. Like, I'll be popping up like. <laughs> like, how many used to do back in the day when they signed CDs and shit? I'll be at the table. Like, I'll, be, I'll be signing the first, the first thing of the, of, the, of the company fucking cut. Yeah, let me sign your fucking book. Let me just answer. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to say? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. First time, first nigga to the company. That's, that's the company. <laughs> That'd be your official title, first nigga. <laughs> what if I start asking you questions about what do you do? What well, that's you where the training's coming. I'm over in the department, bitch. Yet. You see my title? Right. I'm vice president of economic affairs. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do I gotta sit my do I gotta sit my motherfucking air for my shit in front of you too? Every time I got to do that? That's it. He said, what are you, dumb? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the vice president of economic affairs. Uh, you gave yourself a title and no, everything. And you got it. Okay. So what is this press conference? What, what are you, who are these people? Was Bill, 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 so Bill, the office, they be like, I need to go. That's right. I'll be high-fiving niggas on the right side. Uh, you, you too can make it if you just fucking stand around the right place, nigga. You, you can be me, man. Oh, my God. So what if we start hearing rumors, though? Like, people whispering and saying, you know, the only reason why he got this position and stuff is because... Color his skin and all I'm, that. I'm so high up, I can't hear the rumor. Bobby! You're talking about 420, my, that room is 47. I ain't even hear that rumor. My nose is so high, my ears can't hear. I'm, I'm walking around. Oh hmm, hmm. Wait a minute, did I, I hear a rumor? That shit's still on 7. I ain't getting to the real rumor. Up, up your rumor game, little bitch. I need you to say I'll fuck Man. my secretary in the butt. Oh, <laughs> no. Shoot, as soon as I hear a rumor, 
I'm gonna go hit the, the button to my helicopter. I don't hear shit. I don't hear not a damn thing. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't know Michelle Gay. I think you're on the island on this one. I'm like I'm I'm gonna have to be dancing like an Uncle Tom on this one. <laughs> My shit go be like, I'll be like, hey, my name ain't CJ, I'm OJ. (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, it'll be something, boy. Yeah, I don't know, man. Integrity going out. Integrity kicks back in after five o'clock. That's (laughs) that's but from nine to five, I got none. What hey, what what you need, Bill? Oh, you need your token? I'm right there, dog. <laughs> I'm right there. You need your token? I'm right there. For 160, 180 grand, and I don't got to do nothing? I don't know. And the extra twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 appearance bonuses? <sighs> and the fringe benefits you know alone. what you can do with that, Michelle? How many lives you can change? <laughs> Huh? You know how many Dallas Cowboys season tickets you can no, get? You can sit right First there on the star. Like, 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 like you know, <laughs> just sitting right there on the star. Like. Word. They come out and say, Michelle, we, we want to introduce you to somebody. And the elevator open is Jerry Jones. He walking in. He's like, nice to meet you. Jerry, Fortune 100. I don't even, Jerry Jones, I'm telling you, you need, you need to rethink this position you in because the old you uh-huh. up. So, no, that one, and then you know what he gonna do? Jay's gonna say, "Oh, fiery! I like that one." You gonna be in the club? Yeah, I ain't telling you a fucking token. What the fuck she talking? Nah, you you know the older white men? They they love a fiery. They love a fiery black woman. You say, "Oh, yeah, oh, she's she's fiery. I love her." You be in the club. You can sit on my lap in a goddamn box seat. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, fly your ass out to every home game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People are like, where's my Michelle K? Be a token. Right. <laughs> hey, man, I tokens is valuable. Out, token. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> Michelle K, you better use that. <laughs> the only time I'll be on the aisle by myself. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I don't know, I'm with y'all. I'm with you all the way, but... It'll just be something that you just got me out here. No, it's like I'm lying to people. Like, I'm just. You only lying to yourself. Why would I It's only you. Nobody else knows. I'll be going home to this weekend. Is this real? I'll be in the mirror giving myself a pep talk. (laughs) All right, nigga. Go out here. Have another great day. I'm I'm going to. I'm gonna walk out my door and rub, uh, rub a big ass New York City token. Be <laughs> <laughs> the best nigga you can. No, I'd be like, you know what? I feel so bad about this, and I open up my phone and check my bank account. I'll be like, Nah, I'm good. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Let's I'm go. <laughs> Hit that button to the helicopter again. <laughs> Jeeves, let's get it spinning. <laughs> let's go. I gotta get to work. <laughs> It's just like now, it's a regular fucking raise and you be the token. It's not like you doing the shit for Diddy. Now, if Diddy come to me, I'm like, nigga, hell mm. That mm. shit works I don't need. Word. So, I'm good. Mm. I'm so good. Let me say it for $60,000 over here. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, if so you see me, let's look so direction. certain type of perks you will turn down. Yeah, absolutely. Hell well, yeah. see, in this scenario, remember, Diddy's black, so he wouldn't need a token. Unless you were white, he, and he needed a white person. But you know, as far as us, he don't. He got plenty of us. That's what the fucking problem. Is. Bro, usually exploiting, so he's exploiting some of them. Yeah, but not his tokens. Nah, not his token. Not necessarily token. But you know what I'm saying? Exploiting. Yeah, yeah. On the keyword that's exploiting, that's true. That's true. Exploiting. So he is exploiting some motherfuckers. Somebody's okay. taking taking it up the ass and doing whatever they got to do for the sake of a check. Not everybody's gonna find out. Okay, so show is all right. So Michelle K got integrity. All right, we got this. All right, so let me ask you this: <clears throat> Would you allow your significant other to exploit you or uh, be a token for their family? Mm-hmm. Meaning, say. 
you got with somebody who was of a different race. All right? Doesn't have to be white. It can be Latin, Asian, whatever. And you're the first of into their family. You know? And and their family that's well off. Okay? Okay? (laughs) And the parents of your significant other, they wanted mixed children. Say you were younger, not not you right now, because obviously you don't want any kids, but say this was you younger. And <clears throat> now, you your relationship with your significant other was 100%, it was pure, it was on the up and up and everything, all right? But then you find out after meeting his parents, say y'all were in a relationship for two or three years, all right? You finally go to wherever they're from and you meet the parents. And that's when you find out the parents are loaded. Like he kept he kept his family's wealth away from you because he wanted to make sure that you weren't trying to get with him because of what what you know his family had or her family had. So makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so you get there and the mom and dad let loose. They were like, oh, it's so great that he or she found a, a little chocolate woman or a little chocolate man and oh we're finally gonna get our mixed babies because we love how beautiful mixed babies are and we're gonna make sure that y'all are taken care of we are so glad that he found you because we were afraid he was going to get with somebody of his own and we didn't want that we wanted him to find somebody mixed so you're hearing this from the parents now your relationship is solid like before you got there when you know you worked he worked and you know y'all y'all were doing for each other he adored you or she adored you you adored them everything was good soon as you get to where he's from the parents hit you with that nonsense you gonna stay in it (laughs) yeah it's years that you're in me and him really loved each other. Right. Like, it wasn't right. nothing like he just ended up falling in love with me because I Because of who you are. Okay. And the parents was happy because they figured that okay. So They're like, oh yeah, he got a little chocolate girl. That's perfect because we wanted a chocolate girl. So now we're gonna let him back in the wheel so he can get Oh, they put him out the wheel. Yeah. Like the wheel. yeah. Not so now and you knew nothing about it. So now the the suspicion pops in. Did he want me to try to get back in the will? Right. All that now plays in. So what do you do? That would be, I mean, mm. love this nigga now. Yeah. I love him. Right. You, know what you too. Here. You too, uh, CJ. You you love her. And yeah, and, the, my, and the daddy mind. comes. <laughs> Sounds like we hit the lotto, bitch. Yes. <laughs> what these motherfuckers you want, bitch? We can afford them. <laughs> You are such a money grubbing whore, man. We got my bro. I struggled long enough. <laughs> Michelle K, okay, what you got going on? Because if he really, I mean, if I, I would probably think about that, but mm-hmm. I think I'd probably stay with him because if he loved me and I loved him, it's two, three years in, and mm-hmm. he'll take care of her. Yeah. But I'm not having no more than two kids. Now they can't be oh. talking about four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm-mm. Right. We're gonna have a cutoff point, but yeah, I'll do it. Mm. And he gonna help. And he back in the wheel. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, it's not like he didn't lie to me, you know. That you know of. Right. But yeah, let's let's just take that integrity thing and just <laughs> man, so like and, and throw that no. bitch out the window. <laughs> it's a different than that type of integrity. That it is, it is, it is. But uh, yeah, if I if if I found out later after the kids, I don't know, but I'll probably be too far in it. I would right. hurt or whatever. But... Mm. Yeah, but this is first meeting and parents, no kids yet. Right, and and the parents, I'm not marrying them. You know, they might want grandbabies, but mm-hmm. I'm not. That's fine. But I'll do it. I'll do that. Oh. Now, he got to love me, though. He can't be. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no. Like I said, everything was great. Okay. Yeah. It's he just you get like there. Yeah. 
and the parents just dropped another bomb shell on them. Yeah, you know, one of them type things. You know how parents do. Yes. They they pull you to the side yeah. and be like, I'm so glad he found you. They just and, be messy. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> just being messy. Yeah, especially I mean, the mama. You know, the mama, oh, yeah, just I mean, being messy. Yes. Like, why why would you say that? Right. Like you literally could have did it, not told me that. I bet you one thing, the very next time the nigga ski, you, your ass gonna be looking at the sideways like <laughs> <laughs> He skied the day the, after the trip. Yeah, what's your intention? Now he's gonna get pregnant. I'm like, shit, you sure you wasn't me up for this and stuff? No, but see, I, that's why I got birth control pills and after one and after pills, and so we be fighting back and forth. We be trying to figure out why you ain't pregnant. Like, hey. He be like Michelle, Michelle K. It's clause B. It's clause B, man. They met you. We got we got fourteen months. Mm-hmm. Michelle, uh, come on, man. They only giving us five months after the meeting to. Oh, oh, and it's a time limit on that. Yeah, the baby. <laughs> well, that's what that. I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm just right, saying just, if that's how he's acting now. As soon as y'all get back from the trip, wow. he's like, all of a sudden, like he don't even know that the mom talked to you, but now he's like, as soon as y'all get back, he's like, I want a baby. Like as soon as y'all get back, I want a baby. You gotta see me two, three years in. Right. Right. You know, so that would be a good time to probably start thinking about having a kid. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I think I was still, I was still sticking out. That would be it. So you wouldn't have a problem being a token in that situation. It's not, I don't, because I, I wouldn't consider myself a token. Because <laughs> <laughs> he love her. <laughs> Want a job? Love you too. Well, I mean, no, y'all, y'all, y'all love me to be a joke in front of all these people and have me out here looking crazy. Yeah, I got some work and stuff, but they talk behind my back. You know, that nigga over there. <laughs> like, no, no. Well, the rest of the family talking behind your back too. They oh, she, but yeah. Mom even told her that she's gonna get the money, and now she's still sticking around. You know, she yeah, want. You know, the family gonna well, talk. Yeah, well, that's what too what if the nigga, if the nigga, you get pop him off two babies, and you know, what I'm saying, shortly after he divorces you, keep custody of the kids, and you ain't included no will or nothing. You don't get no money out of it. You just use your womb. <laughs> I think I just saw Michelle (laughs) Cam. Damn. And and they walking around with little biracial curly hair kids and you like, those used to be my kids. Ain't no proof of that shit. Cause this guy with all type of With that brown gray skin with the curly hair and (laughs) And they got my eyes. Only like me. No and they don't doctor appointments or nothing. No birth certificate that show you was even included. They just could cross you out of it. I mean the option is to start over. All right, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, I can't fight you. I ain't got no money. You know what's valuable? That's valuable? Your integrity. Right. They took that because I would have said it was for Right. You took me out. I would have said it was for the You don't put the price tag on the wound. I'd be like, fuck that. I'm going to go ahead and just not do it because y'all ain't going to be have me out here making babies and then set me up. Then I can walk away with nothing. And you don't mess my body up with two kids that I can't even play with no more. Mm. Gotcha, bitch. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it feel like. Yeah. I don't know, man. That'll, that'll, that'll be a little different story. You're like, nah, I need my money up front, Playboy. Yeah, you like, well, I'm, I'm just wire this money to this account over here. And have my own stash. But yeah, they like, don't try me because mom dirty. already told me you got it. That'd be real dirty. Yeah, it would be dirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and dirty it up real quick. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you <laughs> you dirty that one. That would, that would be something else, though. I'd be like, God damn. I didn't get nothing out of the deal. No money, no money. <laughs> Kids gone. No extradition. <laughs> no child support. Because he ain't from here. Yeah, nothing. For those two years we had these kids, and I had this lavish life. Now I got nothing. Nothing. Just long enough to wean the kids off the tit. They gone. I might have to go <laughs> undercover and start taking out people. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not. 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 I'
I'm gonna have to call. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to find another side. You gonna turn Jennifer Lopez and start killing motherfuckers? I'm, I'm no, telling you. Have to do something because you can't walk around. No, and I don't have. Mm. Everybody about to get Nancy yeah. Kerrigan knees, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. taking out everybody Achilles. Yeah, they can't. They can't. Wow, I ain't mad at that. All right, so what about at your kid's school? So, say your kids happen to go to a <laughs> non-diverse school. You know, you put your kids in this school because, you know, you wanted your kids to, you know, excel and have more opportunities later down the road. And it happens to be one of those schools where there's not a lot of uh, <clears throat> uh, complexions that match theirs. Mm. All right. So, there might be out of a whole school of say 600 students it might be 10 that look like them total but none in their class they scattered all around they're scattered in all different you know age. say them say their <laughs> elementary school age so it's okay. you know first through or kindergarten through fifth grade so there's 10 uh minority kids through those five grades out of six 600 kids that's there so your kids are in first and i don't know first and third grade or something like that and they're the only ones in the first and third grade that are um that match their complex okay, okay. <clears throat> so um something comes up and i don't know superintendent or something for the school comes up so that they can qualify for some special uh things that schools get special programs or something but they got to show um diversity and you know ethnic equality in their schools so the principal comes up to you say hey miss michelle k mother of these kids um we think your kids are exceptional and we would love for your kids to be the poster or put on posters to represent our school we think your kids are beautiful they're bright they're intelligent we think they're the best of the best in their classes and we would love for your kids to represent um our school in the advertising and the marketing promotions that's about to come out for the school and that's all they tell you so, if you agree to that, My you're, kid only, no other kids in the school. Just they're, they're saying that they're picking a select few. Okay. okay, and they want both of your kids. They want your kid to represent the first and the third grade. So it just so happens that all the all the minority kids are all picked, and then a handful of white kids. Here and there, here and there to, to sprinkle it to make the poster oh, look. Man. You got all ten. <laughs> all ten. The same picture spread out. Yeah, right. <laughs> like seconds. You got a nice big collage. You make it like the whole school is diverse. Right. It's only right. Like 10 it's only ten. So it's a collage, and then you look closely at the collage, and you see your kid twice and three times in the right. picture. You're like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. it, why is my kid three times in this poster? As opposed to it look like it's a hundred kids right. and it looks like out of the hundred, it looks like 30 of the kids are, are are black or minorities. But you look and it's like six of those are kids, six of them are my kids and I only got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, after you, you agree to it, you see the poster and you ask them, mm -hmm. right? So the principal is the one who approached you about it. You come back to the school to ask about it because you're like, hey, what was this all about? Mm -hmm. The vice principal says, because the vice principal doesn't believe in all that shit. The vice principal's like, we should just promote the best kids and that's it. That's all they care about. They on the real shit. Mm -hmm. So the vice principal catches the attitude and it happens to be a white woman. And she says to you, well, look, I'm a level with you, Miss Michelle, okay? <clears throat> um, we did that for uh, ethnic diversity. We didn't do that because your kids were special or anything else. We just needed uh, minority kids to
to represent the school to make it look like there was more minority kids. So you agreed to it with the principal, but the principal wasn't honest with you and why they did it. So they already did it. It's already going. The marketing is already spinning and going and everything. They done exploited your children with your permission, but they did it. Four, they did it three, under false pretenses. Two, what do you one, do in that situation? Zero. Oh. All engine running. <laughs> lift off. We have a lift off. Ain't no postal gonna be. Ain't no postal gonna be put up. Ain't they even gonna be featured in the magazines. Oh, and you start to be like, oh, I'm going to the principal, vice president, superintendent. We're going to the board. We're going everywhere. You're not going. You guys, you guys, you're the motherfucker. Man, yeah, 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 now, you're gonna come, now my kid's gonna go to that bitch for free. <laughs> and you're gonna put something towards their goddamn trust fund so they go to college for free. Man. How about that? And she better not say it too close to my face. So I, I <laughs> she she think you're gonna hit her too. That, man, I, probably, I would probably just black out right then. Right then, huh? Once she said that, and it's like, oh damn, what happened? I'm locked up and stuff, and I promise you this is not gonna be. I was, no, not my kids. Mm. That's another thing. Now, you. I might not be all fond of children, mm -hmm. but you can't mess with my children. I'm not mm. fond. Yeah, yeah, not but. like, yeah, but, you no, know, no, mm. that's, that's, yeah, I probably be in trouble. And if the principal comes in, hey, oh, Miss Michelle, okay, Michelle, okay, look, 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 well, I apologize. Mm -mm. I forgot. Here was your check for allowing your children. Take that check. And he, <laughs> And he get, <laughs> you look at it first, <laughs> and it's a, it's a check for mm -mm. fifteen thousand per kid. Oh, that's much money at that point. That's not it is. Shut up. It is. No, it is. Fifteen thousand ain't enough. Y'all niggas ain't got enough promotion. Yeah, but it's it's right. it's no. one poster. No, no, one poster won't. has an effect. We know that shit. Yeah, absolutely I'm right. Just, I know. You, I know you're you're the marketing guy. You, you, we know that. But that's what Say I'm saying. Say no to drugs, nigga. Say no to what? <laughs> Nancy Reagan shit did a lot of fucking damage. Right. So, no, this is true. It went everywhere. So, uh -huh. yeah. No. So. I'm promising that will not. No. So, Camille and CJ Trials, they, they hand you uh, two checks worth 30 grand. It ain't enough. What, what are you going to do, though? It ain't, I already told you, I'm soon. ain't enough. My children will go to the school for free up until whatever grade that shit goes to. And you will have money on the side that you will be putting every year for their college fund. So you're gonna let them stick that out and deal with the persecution that's gonna come afterwards. What persecution? Uh, because once it gets out, you know that those other uh, majority kids that's there, they're gonna say, "Oh, you were on that poster because you were black, and your your dad you came did. up there and showed his behind. Your you mom came right. up there and showed her true colors yeah, and right. did all this, and now that's your right. kids." Are hearing this every day because you them, made them stay I'm at the tell school. My kids tell them to find their daddy. <laughs> Ask where their daddy at. If they knew who their daddy was, their daddy could do the same shit. Yeah. What? Take him from. They ain't there, so I do what I do for mine. Mm -hmm. And for mine, yep. they gonna get taken care of. Y'all just gonna wait. Time to reverse. Yeah. Put a reverse card in this motherfucking Uno pack, my nigga. And I'm gonna exploit you. Yeah. Okay. My kids gonna get a good education. And you want to make sure you want to pay for me. But the post's not going up. All oh, the advertising yeah, is not yeah, going up. Oh, it's already been up. Oh, like I said, you well, seen the poster and notice. It's like, wait a minute. It's oh, yeah. it's a hundred kids on a poster. Thirty of them are black, and I just looked. Six of them are my kids, and I only got two kids at the school. They will have less than twenty four hours to get that poster down from wherever and destroy whatever else coming after. I'm it's telling a real you, number. Yeah. Then, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then. Uh, the 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 principal tells you, ah, oh, well, you know, you're gonna have to get a judge to tell us that because the the superintendent of the schools authorized us to put it up. So we're not doing it just because you came in here and said it. Like we're gonna need a court order to take it down because you already agreed. Right, but under false pretenses. Oh, hey, but yeah, but prove it was false pretenses. <laughs> Look at the poster. You got my kids splattered all over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that right there is going to be everything. I'm, yeah, I'm but you can't girl. prove that that we didn't tell you that you we were going to put multiple pictures of your kids on the poster. We just said we wanted to put your kid on the poster. 
One thing I would just hope people wouldn't do something. Don't do. Don't come in there and lie. Right. That would be. I know it's not. But this is this kind of world we live it, in. But <laughs> that's why I wouldn't be able to. It just wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. Something. Something is gonna have to happen. Right. Because. But what are you gonna do? That like I know how upsetting it would be. That's why I asked the question. That's why but I what go do you do get, in get, that get, moment? Try to get the nigga to uh, out himself on a recording. All right. Remember, this is this is a master degree educated person as well. I mean, he's a principal of the school, so it's not going to be easy to get him to just blurt out. Coming, he's going to say what he did. I'm gonna come in there irate, and he's not gonna be thinking that. Oh my gosh, in that very moment, no, I'm like, okay, like. I'm well, he might be stupid. if he knew what he did. If he knew he did some dastardly stuff, he's gonna be ready for you. Yeah, he, he might, but then again, he just might not think you'll be. He might not think right at that moment. That's how I'm thinking. I'm coming, flipping know. tables over, and right. I'm causing a sense of urgency and irrationalization. In that moment, oh, he's, he's okay. He's trying to calm me down. Mm-hmm. What 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 y'all are forgetting? Remember. This is a very, very, very undiverse school. So you come in there, you flip one table. They already called 9-1 the second your car hit the parking lot. So <laughs> well, they should have. Exactly. Yeah, they so the should. second you step in that school and raise your voice two decibels, that one is pressed and the 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 other administrator's fingers on the send button. So you flip a table if you want. 5 0 would be at that school faster than they're out there when they hear that kids are shooting up the school. Mm-hmm. And your ass be handcuffs being escorted out faster than you even could blink. We're not talking about a regular public school here now. Come on. Like, think this through, uh, lady and gentlemen. Think it through. All right, so I'm going to come in a trench coat <laughs> and have my hand in a trench coat the whole time. Oh, you gonna get your ass whooped and get arrested? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you come out there with a trench coat on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we are gonna be reading about you in the Washington Post. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he had his hand in the trench coat the whole time. And then he took his hand out. Oh you know, my god! <laughs> like I had oh. a stomach pain. I was just rubbing my stomach. They gonna do you like Dave Chappelle. CJ gonna be dead on the floor. They gonna sprinkle crack on his dick. <laughs> 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 oh, Boy, you better not come in there with no trench coat, man. <laughs> they gonna take you out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta meet them to get the car. Then. That's all right. I know what, I know what the principal call it like. Let me. Oh, of course. I'm gonna meet the nigga right in the car. Yeah, cause he come in in that Lagazo or that that Lamborghini truck every day to work. So. Let me let me get right at the yes. car before you even get in the building where he have all his security and fortress oh, going down. Like, yo, my nigga, let me holler at you real quick. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, well, let me get this straight. He'd be like, no. <laughs> he no, no, no. no. <laughs> you already, he already out the car. He, he already, already got, yep, you already got a briefcase in hand. You I'm got it. I'm you, nigga. Hold on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. You a good, you a good 30, 40 feet from the fucking city. <laughs> 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 You go you Waffle can't, House can't that dude right in the parking lot, huh? Hell no. Nothing works. You can't do none of that shit, man. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, you, mom. <laughs> y'all just, y'all ready to show me the college for them children, huh? Hell yeah. They're bad as they are, yeah. I'm. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to play devil's advocate because I'm, I'm good at doing it. Let's just say. In this scenario that I just said, I'm not going to change anything, but if you didn't do anything and he turned around and gave you a check, two checks, equaling $30,000 for the poster that's up, what's the harm? What's the harm? Besides your own, listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. Besides your own integrity or your feelings in this situation for you, the kids are still in class and the other kids are like, oh yeah, I saw you on a poster and all this. And they're just having the time of their lives. So the kids aren't bothered at all. So what's the harm? They don't understand. Exactly. They won't get it though. Exactly. So the kids are fine. They're still innocent. And you got thirty grand on top of it. So what's the they, harm? I know they, I know they made thirty more than thirty grand in the back end in that right. month. Yeah, but now you're just counting people's pockets. Like Fuck that, I am. They are, you were, they but but see, you were willing to do it for nothing. 
Because remember, when the principal right. came up and asked exactly. you, you were like, hey, sure, that's fine. So you weren't planning on getting nothing. And the now they're giving you 30 grand? And the pretense that my son was, my son and daughter was academically of sound body and mind, and they deserved that position because Who said of that. they're not? Yeah, it's different when you when the undertone is they melanin. They got they up here because the niggas is black, blacker than black. But and okay, really use this shit, huh? And, and it very well, you, it very well could be that. But remember, that is one person's opinion of the situation. Remember, I said that was the vice principal's explanation of what happened. Right. So it could be she could just be a racist bigot and not want anybody black in the school. So she said that to you to get you going. Now, I'm not saying that she did or she didn't, but you don't know because you just stepped in and she wilded out about it. So well, when I start seeing my kid in the poster three times a piece, like some raisins, like you said, in the fucking milk. That sounds like $10,000 a picture to me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I smoke. I have when smoke, it's fire. Yeah, I it can be, but so don't mean I'm that like, you burn it. Because it ain't, it ain't a coincidence that all of a sudden that y'all niggas fudge these numbers. Right, Late. but the fact that when people actually go to, to the school and see the diversity, then it's only ten. They're gonna look back at that poster. Well, and the like, other twenty right, niggas, like right, right. They didn't come in that day, so yeah. But who cares if your kid graduates and is off to a great start in their life based on them going to that school. At that point, like, again, I, I'm I'm just playing devil's advocate. You know how they so, be at a better start? If well, yeah, seeing daddy throw tables, tables, tables and get yeah, arrested and put to jail? Yeah, that would be a great start. <laughs> if, they, if they went to school there for free and then they paid them for, to go to Stanford or whatever school they want to for free too. If a judge rules for that, because remember, you're paying tuition for your kid to go there and you're asking for your kid to go there for free. So more than likely, they got pretty good lawyers too. And if you remember, I'm just saying, <laughs> devil's advocate, like don't, I, I know I created a scenario, but don't kill the messenger. Okay. You agreed to it from the beginning. So if you signed a consent saying, I allow my kids to be on this poster and now you're showing your ass at the beginning and the only thing you can say is well it's under false pretenses they're going to say based on what uh how i feel what i think is happening fucking we got to put this name on the screen what the vice president of motherfuckers think and they're going to say absolutely not because the superintendent's going to get involved and they're going to say you deal with the lawyers. We're not gonna put anybody no, no, on the stand no, because no. they work for the school. Oh, you better get you a real good lawyer and be ready to drop that that five ten thousand dollar retainer over this. Well, and I guess you could use the thirty thousand right, dollars that they gave you. Check that they gave me, but I'm still What's <laughs> And I'm gonna tell him he get the rest where we fucking beat these niggas ass. Yep. So. <laughs> What's the nigga got Johnny Crump? That dark skinned nigga, African looking oh, nigga? Oh yeah, he is everybody here. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Cause He's Al Shop is on his way out. So. Wow. I get the Crump nigga. That, that is interesting guys. That is interesting. I don't know. I think it's about the, the exploitation of the children. Right. You doing it. That's the biggest thing. That's what we talking about today. Exploitation. <laughs> yeah, not, not the kids, not the babies. No. Okay. So for Michelle K, work is a no. <coughs> mm -hmm. the, the husband, husband the family is a yes. maybe, and the kids are absolutely not. The husband, no, the family for was CJ, okay. For CJ Trowers, the, the work is a hell yeah. The family's a <laughs> eh. And the kids are a motherfucker. No. Right. Uh, okay. I'm going yes for all three. I just, I mean, I, me personally, I don't, uh, I mean, I see advantages on all three. But you got your kid on there. Yeah. That I agreed to. 
Like, I, I got to chalk it up as, you got me. You won't get me again, but you got me. Oh, you got me. <laughs> but I'm not going to okay. show my behind at the school and go to jail over it, over the poster? Well, no, not. It was how she came and said it. Right. That was what she said. But I don't know that, Mom. But I don't know her. Yeah, I don't know her either, but she so what if, to be like that. That's, that's it's like, what, what, this is an example. Uh, and, and I may not be the same exploitation, but it's under false pretenses. You fucking with a chick, she like you, she see you, you the, you the physical specimen she want, you 6'4", whatever, all that kind of stuff. She thinking in her mind, oh, I'm going to get a football player out this nigga. And she tells you, you know, um, I really love giving the head. And I give the best head in town. And she sucks you off until you nutting her mouth. And she goes to the bathroom and spit your shit into a damn, damn uh, what do you call semen thing or, or a little specimen mm-hmm. that you and, and puts, puts it in her. It's pregnant. You ain't never had sex or you had no intention of nothing. Her, you had condoms and ready to go, but she didn't want the condom. She just wanted you. She wanted to have a baby by this big, tall, football looking nigga. And she had you with child support right after. You got to chalk it to the game. In That's my opinion, you, you got to chalk it to the game. What else can you do? Like, if you didn't want it to happen, then you shouldn't have had sex with her. You shouldn't have busted where she could get to it. But she just gave you name me, I'm a world class ski shooter. But like yeah, right. I, I will bust it on the ceiling or the wall. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm busting up. <laughs> you thought she was going in there to, to either swallow or spit. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna give you the opportunity. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, oh. So you got on the wall everywhere. She just go snatch something off and just. I gotta chalk it to the game. I mean, what else can you possibly do? I, I, yeah, I'm going to be mad, but there's nothing I can do. You going to take care of her? Uh, this state's going to make me. I, 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 <laughs> there's nothing else I can do. I can't I can't see Jay Trowers and push the best. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we, need, we need to meet at the top of the court steps. Where? <laughs> I mean, I can't make her go to Six Flags. <laughs> Come on, man, let's get on these rides. I don't like rides. If you don't get your ones on this motherfucking Goliath. <laughs> you get on the water ride, just push her over. That's that little splash one, the little splash one. Yeah. Damn. Come get your ass on this rickety ass oh, wooden roller coaster and get the shaking. Mind yeah, get, 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 get on this mind train. Come get on this Georgia Cyclone. Let's yeah. go get a, a month full of Plan B smoothies. <laughs> I want to make sure my baby All right, has Bill Cosby. Remember, they locked his 80 year old ass up for putting shit in people's drinks. All right. Right, he, I wasn't trying to take advantage. A plan B wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> plan B smoothie. No. You put a shit in the drink to to do something to her. I wasn't gonna have sex with her no more. I don't know what she on. I'm trying to just get rid of something. <laughs> you still doing something to her? Set me up, so I'm already beat her to the game. Oh my. Yeah, I'm gonna scramble the DNA a little. I bit. swear, you time. people are straight <laughs> Negroes, man. <laughs> They're going to have so much plan B and they're going to be like, bitch, you, are, you have beta blood. You know what I'm saying? Your blood type thing. You're going to turn that chick to a whole blood. She ain't even going to be able to say a, a word with a letter C. She ain't be like, I need some broccoli b- bookies. <laughs> She's like, why are you talking like that? I don't know. All these bees just coming out my mouth. <laughs> you went from an O blood o type baby. to a B type, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's your blood type? B negative. <laughs> Jesus Christ. B, B to the 35th power. That's the only time she took the motherfucker. Something is wrong with y'all, man. <laughs> Both of y'all are horrible. Oh, man. Trigger. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to get ready to get out of here. I've been King Bear in the building. Can me see the trials. Sure, okay. And we're going to see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great one. Peace. All right.